Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress Divi theme e-commerce site build. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. We've been putting together this uh, WooCommerce site, this e-commerce site that you can sell your products with using the Divi theme here. And a lady sent me a question asking, how do you put categories up in your menu up here? Good question. Uh, it's pretty simple and I'll go through that in this little video here. So let's go to our dashboard. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to products and I'm going to go to categories. And I've got several categories at the moment. Um, but I want to add, a, I'm going to add a couple more, something like, oh, we've got an on sale. I'm going to add clearance. So you just put your name, your category in there. And the slug will give it clearance as well. Not got a parent category you could have put this one under one of the other categories as a parent if you wanted to and this description is just if you've got hundreds of categories it'll help you see what it is or if somebody's going in and editing behind you it'll show them what it is i'm not going to put in a thumbnail uh, if you wanted to just add an image from your media library or or uh, upload a new one now i'm just going to add hit the add a new category button there it is there's our new category right there now let's see do i want to do any more we've got clearance we've got on sale and um, i'm going to add another one just call it fashion i think and i'll use the same thing I'll just control C to copy, control V to paste, and add it. Okay, so I think I've got all I need here. Now that we've done that, let's go back to our products, all products, and add a few of our products to these new categories we've got here. And to do the easiest way I find is to hit the quick edit button. And you'll see your categories over on the right hand side here. And you can just check any that you want to add this particular product to. Hit the update button. I'm just going to randomly go through. See, these have got multiples. I'm going to try and target the one that, that the ones that don't have multiples. Just so we've got something in these categories. There's a fashion one as well. Update. Not going to spend too much time on this. Um, ones in lots of categories this one okay that's fine let's just put it in fashion as well it's in as you can see you can have multiple categories no problem at all okay let's update that so now we've created our categories and we've got various products in those categories let's go and create a menu that uh, is going to contain those so we go down to appearance go down to menus
and when it's loaded we'll go over to create a new menu and we'll call this cats I guess for categories obviously you can uh, call yours what you want hit the create menu button there we are now we want to add our categories to this so by default we've got our pages open here and down below you'll see posts products custom links categories product categories etc etc if you don't see these down here just slide up to the top of your page to screen options because sometimes they're not checked by default and check the products or check the the boxes next to whatever it is you want to have displayed down here Um, that can be a little frustrating. I've had a couple of people say, well, such and such isn't showing up. And that's the reason there usually because it's not checked in the screen options. All right, so we've got that. Let's go down to our categories here. Oh, or actually the product categories. And here we go. You see all of our, all of our categories listed here. You can check the one you want. I'm going to go ahead and check them all and we'll have a bit of fun and we'll make some of these sub items in our menu here. And so clearance fashion. Yeah, that's fine. Then I've got them all checked. I'm simply going to hit that add to menu. And let's have clearance first on sale then fashion that's fine um, and now with our fashion I'm going to put all our other items here as sub items whoops I'm simply dragging it moving it to the right a little bit and it, as you can see it's staggering it which will put it as a sub item in the menu here. And so we've just, we've just got three things in the menu there with a big drop down there. What else do we want to add? Let's add, see if we want to add some pages. We'll uh, keep check out there. We've got the car in the top one. Let's add my account. I'm not particularly interested in having home there. And let's just add accessories. Obviously, I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. You can do, do it however you want to do it. So now we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six items in the main menu and a bunch of items underneath. So let's save this menu. later on I'll probably create a return policies page a contact us page and about us page which we can we can put somewhere okay so we save that menu let's go down and put this menu somewhere now let's go down to our Divi theme customizer and if we look at the site while well, that's loading here is this is actually the secondary menu although it's on the top with the Divi theme this is called the secondary menu and this is actually the primary menu so let's put our new menu here where the primary menu is so here's our customizer go to header let's go down to menus And we want to go to menu locations. Primary menu at the moment is just a test menu. Secondary menu is our products that we've got there. Of course, we'll have duplicates in our sub menu here when I put this in. So in the primary menu, let's just hit the drop down arrow and select the new menu, which is cats. And then we'll publish it.
Um, it might be going a little over too far. Let, I don't know about that. Anyway, you can see that there it is, and it's got our categories clearance on sale the fashion's got that big drop down with our dresses shoes bags shirts and blah 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 in it uh, accessories my account and checkout so we've published that let's go back to the site and refresh there we go so we now have our categories as a menu up the top here. I hope that's answered the question that you asked me. Um, that's the way to add your categories to a menu. Simple as that. Let's just check they're going to work. Clearance. There we go. And that's all the little items with clearance. On sale. There's a bunch of items there with our on sale tags. As I'm not going to go through all those accessories in my account checkout. Good. So I'm happy with that. So I hope that answers your question. And I hope you found that useful. If you have, please like and subscribe to the channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look at some of our web development courses down below. We've got some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. There's also some great free courses down. So take a look. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesigningtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.